everybody. Do you see what's happening here? We're leaving for Florida. What, what time is it, Aim? Uh, Do we even know? One something? Probably about 1.30 a.m. We just left. Because we were supposed to leave tomorrow, but we wanted to get away from the several inches of snow. Yes. Leaving in the middle of the night again to avoid snow. Didn't we just do this last year? Yeah, I think we did just do this last year. We did. I have a puppy on my lap. Where is she? Two very puppies. Sleepy puppy and a sleepy puppy over there you can't see. Please, All right. puppies. We wanted yeah. to... Oh, bless you. We wanted to um, just document that we're leaving in the middle of the night. We'll do more video. I don't know when we're gonna stop. We gotta get like three hours south of here. If she can keep her lids up. She's usually good though. She's, she'd be a good long haul trucker. Here's what snow covered roads at 3 a.m. look like. Aim's rocking it. It's about 310. And this is the bottom edge of the snow band that we were driving quickly to get out of town and miss. And we just got the very bottom of it here. So here we are. A minute ago, you could barely even see. Yeah. Wait, that's a lot. Yeah. That's good. Make it. Well, it was a very cold overnight because the generator didn't start. <laughs> yeah, so we were we were getting snow all night long here in south of Michigan, southwest Michigan area. It snowed all night. We had no heat. Um, it was a short night. We were only we only slept about four hours and um, woke up. Just it was so bitter cold because of the generator and the batteries will wear down after a few hours to being dead and we can't let that happen. So we just piled up with extra blankets. eventually. I don't know if you can see, but we've got snow and bright sun. It's snowing horizontally and very, very windy. I don't think you're going to be able to see that on the video. Maybe we can. I expect a snow bow, right Ames? Yeah, where's Not a snow rainbow, bow? but a snow bow. Where's the snow bow? You can see the snow down in the bottom of the windshield here. Crazy weather. It's kind of pretty. We are at Speedway in Kokomo, Indiana. Not Kokomo in the, what's that in the Caribbean? There's Greyhawk. And look, we've got sun. Everything is covered in salt and road grime. But that's all right, because in Florida, we can get clean. Here we are, filling up. It's the first time I'm saying hi to you guys. You haven't seen my face yet in this video. <laughs> um, there's Journey right behind us. She's really thirsty today, so we're giving her a drink. Um, we have just started our trek down to Florida. And we have, I think we could get like 12 hours to go still. Um, on our route, we like to stop at either Indiana Premium Outlets or there's some outlets by Nashville. So I th I'm not sure which one we're going to, but we're going to go to one of those because I need some new shoes for the gym. 
that's where I get my shoes. I get New Balance 880s, and uh, they are fantastic, and that's where we get them, along with some other coaching clothes and stuff. So can't beat outlet prices, right? All right, I'm going to go check on Journey's progress here. Is she done yet? Oh, ouch. Ouch, but you know what? This right here, I'm going to cover up my account number. This EFS, it's called TSD Open Roads. TSD Logistics. That is a fleet company. It's a fleet card that helps us get uh, diesel for less than the posted rate. So right now, this says 419. Um, we're getting this today right now for, sounds like I'm making it up, I know, I'm not. Uh, I think it's 371 or 372 a gallon. So it saves a lot. All right, let's get back on the road and get this taken care of. I wanted to show you guys, this is why we really like traveling at night. Last night, there were about three cars on the road. During the day, there's a lot of traffic. Hi, Ames. How's it going? Going. Yeah? Any news over there from the captain's chair? No news. I guess no news is good news, right? Otherwise, you may not want to hear the news. Just a little bit of traffic. We are going around Indianapolis right now, headed south. This is I-65. Because we live in West Michigan, I-65 makes the most sense to take um, going to the panhandle of Florida. Most of Michigan takes I-75 down all the way to Florida, but that is not our destination. And we really actually don't really care for I-75 much in a motorhome. There isn't. I mean, obviously there's a lot of traffic here right now, but I-75 around the bigger cities, is, it can be pretty treacherous for motorhomes between the cars that zip around you and the big trucks that don't care where anybody else is. No offense to any truckers out there. It's not everybody, but there's certainly been some horror stories about being run off and front ends getting clipped by the back of semis and stuff so anyway we like 65 we've taken this several times and it just works for us um, I'm hoping that the sunshine comes back out sunshine morning it is early the next day um, <coughs> we crashed pretty early last night from the night before having only slept about four hours so went to bed about 9 30 right now it's 7 15 this is the time I normally never see <laughs> and I wanted to show you where we are because we're in a really cool spot that is not our rig uh, where's journey there she is there's journey right behind me there let me show you here so we are in a Cracker Barrel parking lot and this is one of our favorite places to stay and actually we've never slept overnight here but we have we really like this spot because we have come and these are the outlets this is um, called Indiana Premier Outlets and we love this place because as you can see they have a giant parking lot that gets full of car well it doesn't ever get full but uh, it's very busy outlet I should say and we park here a lot and we'll park and we'll go shop at the outlets and then we just all you have to do is walk across the street and you're in Cracker Barrel so we had um, we had dinner at Cracker Barrel last night wherever we stay we like to patronize them to make sure that they get some business from us and I wanted to show you just how nice this area is Lila's out here for morning potty time with me while we video hi Lily say hi to Lila hey Lila come here Say hi. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Lila. <laughs> Outlets. The highway is literally right here. Couldn't be closer to the exit and the entrance. And the sky is becoming pretty beautiful this morning as the sun slowly makes an appearance in there somewhere. Morning, world. I want to 
show you one more thing real quick. This is a pro tip. If you look right here, we've got a motorhome next to us. They're in a great spot and have an exit, as you can see, they can get out. Here's my pro tip. Okay, did you see that? Here we are. We have room to get out. We travel with orange cones. Travel with orange cones, please. Block, block the area you need to get out because you know what always happens. It's notorious. You find a spot and a tiny little car parks right there and you can't get out. So, right there. Orange cones, pro tip. Pro tip. Thank you, Cracker Barrel. If you don't eat there, you guys need to. The A-Team are on their way. Oh, buddy, really? Head east toward North Executive Drive. <laughs> Here, let me squish my car between the curb and that giant motorhome. I'm and just gonna go first. Instead of going in the other... Turn way. left onto North yeah. Executive Drive. In 1,000 feet, turn left after Ruby Tuesday, on the left, onto Marketplace Drive. On the road, kids. On the road. On the road. Head them up, move them out. I gotta pull oh. my sunshade down. Yes, we do. We need to do that right away. I saw that pop of sun come out for a second. Oh, I didn't get your sunglasses either. I'll do both up here at the stop sign. Lily's all cozy in her spot. Turn left after Ruby Tuesday, on the left, onto Marketplace Drive, Tracy's then use the middle lane spot. to turn left onto US 31 South. And we have the beeper. In 65 South. Left. Yep, these lanes right here. Welcome to Kentucky. Welcome to Kentucky. This is Louisville. these bridges. There's a bridge over there. There's a bridge next to us. There's this one. There's, there's one over there. Keep left to stay on I-65 South. We are staying left. That was, that was fun. Continue on I-65 South for 172 miles. Where are we, AIM? We love going through downtowns in the dark, don't we? Yes, way better than in the middle of the day when it's busy. Everything is all lit up. Okay, back in the day, my family, we would go on vacation or whatever, and we would occasionally, just like anybody, end up driving at night. And I'd sit in the back seat with my brother, younger brother, and we'd each have our Walkman on, separate Walkman, right? Listen to our own collection of tapes, our favorite tapes we'd bring with us. And I remember looking out the front window as mom and dad were up in the front seat thinking, I think I was made to travel at night. I absolutely loved it. And then who knew, years later, we'd have a motorhome and we would spend most of our time driving at night. I think you've shared this story before. Did I share that story with everybody on the video? Yep, four already. Well, there's new viewers. They can enjoy my my repeat stories. Okay. We have made it to Florida. Woohoo! Hungry. Oh. Home bush. <laughs> Home bush. <laughs> right there. Oh. It is hazy in Florida today. That's proof. The sun, it exists. The sun doesn't exist. Well, it exists a little bit in Michigan. It's very uh, cloudy and stuff. Today, tomorrow, Florida's going to be kind of blah. But you know what? Right now, the temperature says 60, and our temp runs a little lower in here. So it's probably about 63 or 64. And we're very happy to have made it to the ocean. We made it to our campsite for tonight. Yes, we are in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. 
and look who's back there sitting on the picnic table waiting for me. <laughs> Lila's not, she's not feeling very good right now. So we have her sitting there. Obviously she's not feeling well because that is not something she normally does, is sit here and wait. Let's go say hi to Lila. Hi Lila. Yeah, we want you to feel better soon, baby. Okay, I'm gonna show you our site from back here. All right, check it out. We got Greyhawk. This is a really beautiful pull through. It's site number 13. And I can show you exactly where we are because I grabbed one of their brand new stickers right there. Solwall Palms RV Park. I do believe this is a newer place. They can't be but a couple years old. Um, you stay there. In there, on their website and stuff, it says that they are currently working on putting in a pool, which of course all the good RV resorts have. So that is nice to know. One of those is coming. They've got beautiful palm trees, really nice gravel limestone rock. You can see we're nice and level. We don't have um, our levelers down or anything right now. So we have some neighbors. You can tell some people are here for a longer duration and some people are just here like us. They have tiny homes, by the way. That right there, that's one of their little tiny homes they run out. There's another one, which would be pretty cool for people who are interested in trying that lifestyle. And then they go all the way back and around. This building right here is the bathrooms. Amy checked it out. It says they're nice, there's a couple showers in there. We're gonna be using the showers to keep our tanks empty. And uh, that's kind of the quickie tour. We're only here for one night. People already said hi to us uh, when we when we first got out of the car and took the dogs for a walk. So, so far, so good. I really enjoy it. We really like it here. It's quiet, it's peaceful. Uh, right now it's smaller, I guess. Um, it's, it's pretty populated. I'm, I'm guessing that they'll keep adding and they're gonna get full and bigger eventually, but we found them when they were small, so we like that. Hey, look who's right here. What are you doing, Gracie? Gracie hunting? He's too busy for the camera. All right, stay tuned. There's more to come. Hey, you guys. Well, it's four in the morning and uh, we've had a development here. I am currently <clears throat> driving um, both hands, of course, on the wheel. <laughs> Um, I am currently driving Lila to an emergency vet. She's obviously got something going on. She's breathing very shallow and she, the way she's breathing, um, clearly something is hurting. Nothing has happened. I don't know why. And I tried to make it through a night with her um, because, you know, we know her very well and some stuff some stuff can happen, but she's so lethargic. Wherever I put her, she just lays there. She didn't want to walk tonight. Um, she hasn't eaten since uh, the morning, which doesn't really bother me because sometimes she does that. But anyway, I thought I'd give you a quick update. I am on the road. I'm about two miles away, so I just want to do a quick little video and give you an update. I know the video is terrible. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to put something on here uh, keep everybody updated. So I'll let you know. She's next to me here in the front seat in a little doggy bed with a blanket on. Um, we'll find out what happens here in a little while. I'll keep you posted. Well, I'm at the vet with Lila and it's not good. She's got fluid around her heart. She's got fluid in her lungs. Um, I think from what it sounds like, this was brought on 
so suddenly because of all the exercise, all the walking and stuff we've been doing lately, um, which is much increased when we camp, of course, and when we're on the road, because she and she loves walking, but um, yeah, not like her normal everyday life at home when we walk, you know, once or twice a day down our long street and back, but. When we come camping and stuff, we go for walks all the way around parking lots several times a day, sometimes several times, you know, in a stop. Um, so they did put her on oxygen, so I did get to see her real quick, but she needs hospitalization for the next 12 hours and, and maybe more depending on how she responds. So. All right, update. It is 11.09 a.m. Lila is hospitalized for the next 24 hours. So we will get her, hopefully we'll get her back. Um, she seemed to be responding very well to the stuff they were doing. So I'm very hopeful. Um, Definitely roomier than our state park. <laughs> um, I have to be careful where I'm going, you guys going five miles an hour. It's the only reason I can do this while I'm driving. Okay, so uh, we found a Walmart parking lot. There's Journey. And parked there and our tanks suddenly showed as full. Mostly the black tank, which means we can't flush. And so that is preventing us from staying overnight there at the Walmart parking lot because we can't flush the toilet. We have a fancy toilet that has sensors, and if it knows it's full, it won't flush it, which is good, but sometimes we get bitten. So anyway, Amy called around and found this, I guess I'll call it, a, I think it's a state park, Florida State Park. The state park is full. However, they apparently have two emergency sites, and they were kind enough to allow us to have one. Um, we just passed it. I have no idea how we're going to get in it. It looks like it used to be a sand volleyball court. Okay. All right, this is our wet bay. And I wanted to show you our extra, our extra stinky slinkies we store above the propane tank. Um, this is some Velcro strips that we put up there. And you can see it's kind of long. Just put it up there and uh, they sit up there and travel perfectly. In the car, going to check out site number one, which is ours. And I think that I think was a sand volleyball pit. <laughs> um, I'm gonna check this out before she comes over here. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Okay, it looks like it might be a little bit better than I thought. Here's our site. Um, it's actually, it is sandy, but if you look, just a little scrape and it's wet. It's pretty solid. Um, I thought these things were sand volleyball net posts, but it looks like this was, this is really just for like a sail, a shade sail or something. Um, so it's better than what I was expecting. And yes, we will fit. These are weird. You always got to look out for surprises when you're parking. So we got to stay away from this right here. Because that will puncture a tire. Whoa. Um, Amy's checking to see if we have a couple boards. We should. We might not, but we should. Uh, to put down, because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And you always have to take that into consideration when, especially parking on sand. Uh, when you got a rig that weighs 35,000 pounds like we do. So, I'm waiting to hear from her about that. All right, we're here to get Journey Park. We're gonna see if we can make this. We gotta get around this tree right here. Uh, I'm not gonna video this, but I'll uh, let you know what the, what the result is. That chick right there is an amazing RV driver. We got backed in. She's dug out boards. 
I didn't even think we had any and she found some. So we're gonna pull forward on boards one or two feet and then that'll keep us up off the sand so when it's time to leave after some rains that are due tomorrow we should be able to get out of here easily should being the key word you always want to look for this this is really lumpy sand that means it's loose under there where we are right here much tighter no lumps all right we're gonna back up on boards get journey safely in her spot for the night are you directing me i am directing you i'm gonna watch this board right here in the front come on forward we're going about 12 inches only come on forward keep coming keep coming keep coming go 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 keep going keep going boards are all flipped up stop stop that is one good rv driver right there look at this perfect let's talk about the day Anne. Should we not, talk about, not the day? talk about the day? Can we not? We need to. They know everything except the thing that just happened. <laughs> Literally just happened. Did it happen to the motorhome? No. Oh. <laughs> Did it happen to the car? <coughs> yes. Car's okay. Car's okay. Tire maybe not so much. No. Alright, well Journey's in her spot. Gracie's Are we very show happy. Them what happened to the car? We're gonna show them that I was driving just now. <laughs> I was moving the car from right here, out of the way of the motorhome, to right here. And what happened? Well, you see that little cement embankment? You kind of didn't. Yeah, you kind of didn't see it. So is that is that what I got then? I didn't. Even get the yellow pole thing no, sticking up. See? Cement. See? Cement. Um, that's I'll, a chunk of tire gone. The thicker tires. They're, they're pretty thick, but I don't think that I trust Maybe we need a the integrity of it. that. We do. Are there any tire people out there? Yeah, we know a guy named John in our Wolverines group. Oh, we should call John. He'll tell us if that's safe. John will tell us if it's safe. The tire place will definitely tell us we need a new tire. <laughs> yes, they will. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call anyway, John. Guy across the street. Over there. A little bit. Over there. Oh, they just pulled out even. The trailer. Just came over and said, it's none of my business, but I just wanted to tell you that was a master class piece of backing up. He said master class? Master class. I do walkie. She does driving. <coughs> Great job. Amazing. Well, let's have a little puppy dog fun, shall we? Gracie, where's all your leaves at? She says, Mommy, throw me a leaf, please. Look at all We're here for the night. Now we're gonna go see if we can get some, well. Did you tell them we're gonna, we got this spot? Yeah, oh yeah, I told them. Yeah, I, I didn't think we were gonna make it in here. If we did not have these boards with us, which we didn't even know if we had them because we've got a stack of boards at home. Um, normally we don't need boards because normally for a big rig like this, you're on concrete or you're on crushed gravel or crushed limestone. Uh, which this is just sand because this is a spare spot for them. Um, anyway, Amy was able to locate some boards that were buried deep underneath in our basement storage hatches. And uh, because of that, we're able to stay here. Otherwise, we would have, have to leave and stay back at uh, Walmart. But we got our tanks dumped, which was priority number one. And uh, now, because we're here, we have electric and water for the night. It's always an adventure, you guys. It never ends. I gotta go find out about this tire now.
All right. I want to add that the only reason I can do a master class backup job is because I have a master class director. Oh, thank you. Well, we do make a good team. A lot of people call us the A team. I think it's appropriate. You know, it's one of the silver linings of social media that your friends and acquaintances and people from, you know, you met a week ago all the way to your lifetime ago uh, support you and send prayers and healing thoughts and everything. So we thank you for that. Gracie wants to go out there. <laughs> um, we're feeling that, and I'm sure Lila is benefiting from that. Stay tuned for our next video. We will give you guys some updates and pick up on this story right where we've left off. Thank you so much for your support. Wherever you go, whatever you do, have a safe and healthy RV journey. Hey, you, you awake? Yeah, I'm just getting ready to come in. Okay. Hope you had a good nap out there in the sunshine.